unboxing of this. It's called Tomahawk Wireless Gamepad, made by Pega. This is the packaging it comes in. I got this on Amazon. I'll try to put a description to it in the video. Some pretty shitty packaging, to tell you the truth. Um, let's open this biatch up. So... I don't even think it even comes with plastic. I mean, there it is. Look at this. Pull apart. Hard to do this with one hand. Yeah, it didn't even wrap it up. I mean, look at that shit. So, that's it. No plastic, no nothing. It didn't even come with a USB cable. Charging cable, but luckily enough, it'll work with anyone that you already have as long as it's got uh, I think a USB 2.0 connector Yeah, it'll work. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how this thing works. Okay, so I unboxed it and I did charge it um, the charging ports right there You connect a USB 3.0 Connect it. Um, so what you want to do you're gonna have to compare this thing First thing you want to do is you're gonna hold down this um, home button and this other button was called it says Android Hold it until you see all the buttons flashing. Okay, so once it's flashing, it's now ready to be paired. Go in now to your Bluetooth, enable your Bluetooth, and once it finds it, it'll say PG9086. Click on that. It's going to pair, and you are now connected and paired. So then what I would do is I would sit it in the controller with the volume on the upper side, so you can turn it up and down. And you'll see that it actually can move to fit a pretty decent sized phone. And then from here, again, I'll just demo uh, the SNEX 9X EXP app. Once you turn it on, you could go into uh, this app and click on um, The neat thing is game pad input and auto detect. Push any key and it's going to auto detect it when you move back. Sorry, just touching the app. It's in a weird position. You're going to see here at the bottom that the PG90086 is connected. And then you can literally start playing games. So load up a game like good old, let's see here, super, what do I want to play here? Uh, I just want to play Super Mario World. There it is. I was already playing, so I'll continue. And you'll see it's responding. You see? Basically got your buttons already mapped for you the way it would be for a Super NES controller. There's your jump. There's your spin. Here's your run fast. The left right buttons don't have anything mapped. I did sorry map um, these buttons here to auto load, auto save, which is the only cool thing about these emulators. Sorry. See, it's actually asking me to save, continue and save. If I click on that button, it would be overwrite it. Um, no, this button would be to load or save and load. So, anyways, um, I hope you liked this vid. If you did, leave a like. I will um, start streaming these games. Watch for me on YouTube, my gaming. I just. Stormy, float your ass over here and magic me up another wrench. Me, Captain. Oh, yeah. You're not for earthly goods and pleasures. Cast off this taint and become taintless. Hey, 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 shut up. It's 420. Word up. Time to go get some more pills.